And again, thank you all for being here today. We're going to be showing uh, github.dev support uh, for Python. Uh, so I start that from the GitHub repo. This is something that you may be aware of or not, but we have this new feature for, um, for actually a better editing experience than when you do just clicking on your files on GitHub. So I have here my Python repo. It's a very simple app, very simple-ish. Uh, but if you go to github.com and you put dot, uh, it will open the github.dev, um, which is basically, a lightweight experience of VS Code on the browser. Uh, and we're very excited to have support for that for Python. So if I just go here to the extensions tab, and if you look for Python, um, our, this, uh, we offer limited support for Python in VS Code through this Python extension that also installs the PyLens extension. So the PyLens extension is basically our language server that um, our team supports internally. And this is the, the one that will give you this experience, uh, editing experience from the, from the browser that is probably better than the pencil uh, on github.dev. Um, so it gives you some nice little features, the ones that I'm gonna show here. Um, for starters, we have what we call semantic highlighting. So you can see here that we try to show the colors for uh, the keywords and for uh, functions and also the modules that we import in packages. Um, and this is just a way to make it more readable, just to have a, a sense of how that looks like when this feature is not um, lit up. If I change it, for example, for C code, this is what you normally would see when you don't have the PyLens extension installed. Um, so it just gives a nice, readability of your code uh, with the semantic highlighting uh, for Python files. So that's cool. Uh, the other feature that we have is some uh, auto completions. It's minimal, so it's not gonna offer many options uh, as this is all running on a browser. But for example, I have this commented code that I'm just going to uh, rewrite. But basically, if I want to call abs here, it does offer me on the auto completions list and I can have the signature um, hence, and a little bit of help to write my code, which is exciting. Um, we also have some like minor go to definition, so you can actually go to the functions in your file. This is a very small file, so this is not very impressive right now, but uh, when you have like longer pieces of code, you can advocate with cultural click as well. It's basically the same behavior, so that's really cool. There are other things that would support like some basic errors. Uh, so if I open here, views py, you can see that there is a uh, error here telling me that return can only be used within a function. So I can fix that with indentation. If I indent things wrong, it will also uh, let me know. Let me, yeah, it has like errors for unexpected indentation. There's something wrong here. So that's, that's kind of helpful to make sure your, the code you're writing is valid Python code. And um, this is pretty exciting for us because we put a lot of work to make sure that it works on the browser. I know that Brett, as you, if you were here on his MA, he has a lot of plans for Python on browsers. So hopefully we'll keep enhancing the experience there. Um, but one thing that is already available also in the marketplace, it's something that it's um, with Pyodied. We actually have this extension that it's not officially maintained by Microsoft, but Joyce is, um, one of the devs who works on VS Code and she maintains an extension that is piloted on um, Jupyter Notebooks on the browser. So I'm gonna just quickly show how that works by opening a notebook. Uh, so I have here a very simple Python notebook with uh, very simple code. And you can see that if you can run cells, so I can create this uh, function here and in a bit it will run. Um, and there's a comment already. Pyodide is a dream on GitHub.dev. It is, right? I really like it. Um, oh, do, do you have a question? Redfern? Hey, no, also, no. folks, feel free to interrupt me anytime. Okay, cool. <laughs> if you have anything, let me know. Cool. Uh, it took some time, but it ran. Um, and here I can go and print my function. So here I am running Python code on the browser thanks to this extension. 
it was pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, you can do, I guess, also uh, make changes to your code. You can commit your changes and do pull requests from here. So if you're contributing to a Python um, repo anywhere, this is this does give like a better experience. I find it to be a better experience than doing it through github.com and it saves up a little bit of commands for me to do it locally as well. It's more practical. And because it's on the browser, you could do it even on your phone if you would like to, or a tablet, right? Uh, so this gives a nice flexibility. Uh, and yeah, do folks have any questions, comments? If you tried Python support for browser before and have feedback, this is a great time to, to do that as well. I can send it to the team who powered it. Uh, is this free or membership? This is completely free because it's running all in the browser. There's no actual server. Um, so if you go to github.com right now and you, any repo and you click dot, you should be able to see this. Uh, and if you don't, we can file an issue and figure out why this is not working for you. But it should be working for uh, everyone here for free. Uh, we also there is also an offering for code spaces, um, and that's the part that is not free because this is a full like VM where everything is running and you have the full Python environment. So that there we have full support for, uh, but that's paid. Um, as it's, it does have a server attached to it and everything, but github.dev is uh, completely free. Cool. <laughs>